So hello again everybody and uh, this is my last opportunity to talk to you as part of the Confirmation Ambassadors program and I've already of course had the chance to meet some of you and your parents for confirmation and it's one of the things I really enjoy is the opportunity uh, to travel to different parishes and I have a sense of traveling with the Holy Spirit um, in a way uh, going to celebrate confirmation with you gives me a sense of uh, wonder and awe in God's presence because I'm there you're there your parents are there but the Holy Spirit is there as well and that's really the important thing I think in our lives uh, we could maybe do a little bit more about having a sense of wonder in God's presence uh, you know when we go into the church for instance sometimes uh, you know we might not really take into account the fact that God is present or even when we walk past the church you know there's this tradition when you walk past the church that you bless yourself it's just a way of remembering that God is present remembering that he is uh, the creator of the whole universe and the Lord of our lives and he's our father who loves us and he's here just nearby and the same when we go into the church we we genuflect it's because we have a sense of the presence of God and that should bring about a kind of a, a, a kind of an amazement in our hearts that's what wonder really is and you know some of the saints were great at having a sense of, of wonder and awe in God's presence they, they, they had a sense of uh, you know God being in every situation People like uh, St. Francis of Assisi and St. Kevin, my own patron saint, were particularly conscious of the presence of God in, in nature, in the creatures, in the rivers, in the mountains. Even the picture behind me here is um, a representation of, of St. Kevin with the blackbird and the hare and the kingfisher and the deer and all the things of nature. And, and in all of that, he found the presence of God. I, what I'd like to do is to, is to join up our sense of wonder and awe in God's presence with our sense of reverence. If we look at God as the, as the creator, the one who has given us himself, given us our own lives and given us the beauty of the world that we live in, uh, our natural reaction is, is, is to be grateful, to be respectful of what God has given us and part of that is about respect for the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament uh, part of it is about respect for the presence of Jesus in other people and you know whether you're talking about a, a little baby who's just been born or whether you're talking about an elderly person someone like your grandparents who have lived maybe 70, 80, even 90 years, we, we think of them as a gift that God has given us, a gift to be appreciated and a gift to be respected. That's what I suppose uh, reverence is about as well. So when we talk about reverence for God, uh, we can only really truly have reverence for God if we also have reverence for the gifts that God has given us, including most of all uh, the gift of life which is his gift to all of us. So if I haven't met you already for confirmation, I look forward to meeting you in the next few weeks and I hope that you're still preparing well and thank you for sharing these uh, reflections with your classmates.